And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. Good Monday morning to you. Your time right now is 642. We're waking up to mainly cloudy skies, so you don't get to look at the supermoon this morning. Uh, and it's a little bit cooler, so you may need that light jacket as you head out the door. 63 degrees to start your day in El Sal's, 67 when you get into La Jolla, 65 in Sebastian and in Blue Town. There have been a few light rain showers moving through parts of Star and Hidalgo County, so don't be surprised if you see a little bit of light rain. Other than that, we're dealing with the fog this morning, and you see that visibilities are reduced from Harlingen and Raymondville going west all the way into Rio Grande City, and visibilities will range from about two miles in Edinburgh to two and a half miles in West. Mexico, everywhere else around three miles, but look at Brownsville and, the, and closer to the island near Port Isabel. Six miles there and ten miles in Brownsville. There's not really a whole bunch of fog there. Uh, and so if you are driving through those areas where there's thicker fog, just remember that you need to give yourself a little bit of extra drive time. Here we go. Future track shows that at six o'clock this morning we could still see a few passing showers in the upper valley uh, while the rest of the valley is relatively dry. We'll get rid of that fog by about mid morning. After that, we'll have cloudy skies, but it'll start to clear from west to east. Notice that as we head into the second half of the day, this is one o'clock. This is where your umbrellas may come in handy for Cameron County. Some of those showers start to pop up and around. Uh, well, this, this particular model doesn't show it, but there is that potential for an isolated shower or two over Cameron County today. Otherwise, I think what we're going to see is a gradual clearing state and we'll have a bit more drier air moving into the valley as well. High temperatures today, 76 along the coast to 78 in Brownsville, 79 when you get into Raymondville, Harlingen, in Wesleyco and in Edinburgh today, near 80 in McAllen and Rio Grande City. We'll have a light east southeast wind at about four to eight miles per hour. What's going to happen is that drier air from high pressure settling in in the upper levels of the atmosphere will move in starting late to now. Well, some parts of today west to east gradual clearing and then you'll notice it really clearing out starting tonight and going into tomorrow where you'll have plenty of sunshine. Also some warmer weather above average heat for much of the work week. Showers return to the forecast by Friday with the approaching cold front that'll pass by Friday going into Saturday and then we'll have a cooler weekend and a good amount of sunshine that rain chance for Friday is pretty minimal with only around 20 or 30 percent there in the forecast. We're tracking the tropics this morning. The Gulf and the Atlantic nice and quiet, but over in the Pacific, that's a different story. We have tropical storm Tina situated just offshore of the Mexican coast. So uh, this particular storm is going to move west and it will fall apart, expected to fall apart starting today. But until then, it could definitely be a rainmaker for Colima as well as western portions of Jalisco with one to three inches of rainfall expected for those areas. But other than that, nothing much afterward. So let's take a look here at the seven day forecast. We're headed up to 79 today, followed by 60 tonight, 84 for tomorrow and 86 with plenty of sunshine starting tomorrow through Wednesday. Even Thursday has a good amount of sunshine. It will be a little bit warmer and breezy on Thursday with temperatures near 86 and then 85 with a shower possible on Friday ahead of that cold front. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. We do have a, a little bit of rain near the end of the work week, so don't put away your umbrellas just yet. Now, as we head into the weekend, temperatures will be right around 75 degrees with a good amount of sunshine out there. The noticeable difference will be your dew points. They're going to drop from the mid 60s to the upper 50s by the end of the work week and then over the weekend a nice drop to the 40s, so it'll feel fresh outside. You'll be able to kind of open up your windows and enjoy that cool down a little bit more this weekend compared to this past weekend where we had a soggy kind of weekend, but it looks like a good amount of sunshine and dry weather on the way with overnight lows expected to stay in the mid to upper 60s for much of the next part of the forecast, but starting Saturday night, check that out. 53 degrees, cool and chilly for Saturday night. That's your updated first one five forecast. Now we're going.